If you or your advisor recently opened up investment accounts at Charles Schwab, in this video I'll show you how to access those accounts online. First what you want to do is go to a browser and I've been telling clients for a while to go to clients.schwab.com but I'm finding that link is not always working. So a better thing to do would be to go to schwab.com and that will bring you to Schwab's main website and then up in the top right where it says login you'll then click on Schwab Alliance. So if you already have a username and password, maybe you set it up a while ago and you just don't remember what your password is, then you can click on forgot password or forgot login ID and that information will be emailed to you and then you can go through the process of resetting your password or getting your user ID. However, if this is your first time logging into Schwab and maybe your advisor recently set up accounts for you and you've never accessed them before, you'll wanna click on new user. You'll need a bit of information to be able to set this up and the most important thing you'll need to know is one of your Schwab account numbers. So hopefully you've gotten something in the mail that would tell you what your Schwab account number is, or if you don't know that information, you could reach out to your advisor to find out what your account number is. If you're ever having trouble, there's always a 1-800 number here that you can call to get help from Charles Schwab. So assuming you've got your account number, now you're gonna start the process of creating your online uh, access. So you click on start, you then enter in your account number, then you'd wanna enter in your date of birth, your phone number, and your social security number. And then you work through the process of opening your online access. Some of the things they'll tell you about a phone number is that you need to enter the phone number that's associated with your account. Most likely that will be a cell phone number. The reason why it's important to have that because if you don't have that number correctly, then it's not going to allow you to proceed. I've seen that with clients where we've helped them to set this up and they don't have the right phone number or I've seen in some instances where their home phone number was used and if that's the case then the home phone number is going to be the one that's going to receive the text message because the big thing with keeping your investment safe is that you want to have two-factor authentication which means that a text message is usually going to go to that phone number in certain times when you're accessing the account. Sometimes it could be all the time. So to get it set up that first time, you're gonna to need access to that phone number. You follow the steps, and as it said at the beginning, it should take about five minutes to get your online access, and then it should be pretty easy. You can bookmark this page and come back to it at any point in the, in the future, or you can always just go where I said before, you can go to right to schwab.com, and from there, you can then click on log in to Schwab Alliance and be able to access your online accounts. Hope this video helps. And if you like these videos, please subscribe to my channel to be able to see more. Take care.